Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans, a little bit of GCSE exam practice here with the Batty Boffin and Batilda the Batty Cat. Now, from earlier videos you may know that Batilda has pet mice that she likes to play with. When I say play, I'm using this in quite a loose term. Uh, but today she's been very nice to them and she has bought her mice some sweets. So here are her three favourite pet mice called Eek, Squeak and Quack. That third one's learning a foreign language. And she's brought them a bag of sweets to share between them in the ratio of the lengths of their tails. Here's Eek with a tail of length two paws, inches, whatever they are. There's Squeak who has a tail of length three. And this is Quack who has a tail of length seven. So she's going to share out the sweets in the ratio of their tails. Here we have a bag of sugar mice. I have to say, as sweets, that has to be incredibly tax loss of her. But nevertheless, she has bought sugar mice to feed to her pet mice. And in this bag, there are 24 sugar mice. So I would just like to know, please, for part A, how many do each of each squeak and quack get if 24 mice are shared out between them in the ratios of the lengths of their tails? Right, in this, as for most ratios question, we actually need another column here. We need the totals column. Eek gets two shares, Squeak gets three shares, and Quack gets seven shares. How many shares is that all together? We add these up, we find we need a total of 12 shares. At this point it becomes very easy. 24 sugar mice in total and 12 shares means that each share has two mice in it because that's a times two. So, Eek gets four mice, Squeak gets six mice and Quack gets 14. Quick check, 14 plus 6 plus 4 makes 24. Yes it does. Okay, that's part A. I'm just going to wipe some of this down. We'll come back in a minute with part B. For part B, we're looking at the weight of the sweets that they all ate. Quack, when he weighed his sweets, found that there were 350 grams of sweets that he was eating. So, I'd like to know, please, what weight of sweets were in the bag to start off with altogether? We attack this one in just the same way as we did last time. 350 grams is Quack's share. So that's going to go here. We need to know the weight of mice in the whole bag. So that's going to go in the totals column. What we need to know is how to get from here to here. Well, hopefully that's fairly obvious because if you know your seven times table, five sevens are 35, so that's a times by 50. So while we're here, we might as well just work out all the others. That one's going to be 150, and that's going to be 100. At which point we can just add all of those up, which will be the same as doing this one here. That's 250, that's uh, 600. 600 grams, which is the same as if you do the 12 times the 50. It works out both ways, you can do it either. So 600 grams, that was a 600 gram bag of sugar mice. OK, that's a ratios question nicely done. I will see you next time for a little bit more exam practice. See you next time, Batty fans.